India-Canada relations have taken a bitter turn. India has now decided to withdraw its High Commissioner to Canada along with a few other senior diplomats after Canada has accused India and the High Commissioner particularly along with a few diplomats of being part and involved of Hardeep Singh Nijjar's killing. Nijjar is known to be a Khalistani face, an extremist who's carried out anti-India campaigns in the past. He was murdered in Surrey. Um, just last year. And Canada, Justin Trudeau government particularly, has been pointing fingers at the Modi government, claiming that that murder that happened on Canadian soil was state orchestrated, that India was behind it. And uh, in, as part of the investigation, they've claimed that the High Commissioner to Canada from India is a person of interest, along with a few other diplomats who've also been mentioned as persons of interest. Now, India has vehemently denied these allegations, claiming this is preposterous imputations leveled against India, and not a shred of evidence that the Justin Trudeau government has found so far to show that India could be involved in this killing. Now, there are nearly 1.8 million Indians currently living in Canada. Just six months ago, the visa process itself hit a rough patch. It was barely started. It seems like the two countries' relations now has strained, at least beyond repair, with the Justin Trudeau regime.